Hey, lovely, sexy people. Right, so my um, year two miniature has just arrived for um, my Warhammer Plus subscription. Uh, World Eaters Terminator, uh, Azrak the Annihilator. Um, so standard commemorative series box, picture of Terminator on the front, just bits and pieces on the ends, uh, but obviously the usual selection of photos on the back for it. Now, I, Games Workshop, ugh. So I had to change my email um, earlier on in the year and I notified them and got them to do it, which they did across obviously the My Warhammer apps. Um, but for some reason it reset my countdown timer for being able to get my commemorative mini. So I should have been, I got my um, first year's mini back in July 2022. So as far as I'm concerned, I should have been able to obtain this year's mini at the, around about the same time. Um, and when I've been trying to get it, um, it kept turning around saying, no, you're not it's not available to me until the end of March next year, 2024. So I had to go, go online and have a chat with people at GW. Now, whilst they did sort it, I don't think they've sorted it completely. I don't think they've reset my timer correctly. Um, so I may have to go back into it next year and see what happens. Uh, I'll probably go for the Kazakin chap. Um, he looks cool. Um, but yeah, uh, because I had changed my email address, um, they, for some reason, the countdown started again from the day that I changed my email address, um, rather than from uh, when I would have been eligible. You know, because it was saying, you know, people that have subscribed from between the, I think it was the 24th of uh, August 2022 to the 25th of August 2023 um, would be eligible. I was eligible um, because I'd obviously subscribed before then, but because I changed my email address in March, they, uh, they like I say, they restarted the countdown um, and I had to... Uh, go online and cause a bit of a nuisance to get it corrected. But it has been corrected now, so that's good. Um, what do we get? So obviously the plastic, let's have a look at the destructions. Uh, fairly basic, just a fold up, a bifold. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's he's, he's a fairly static pose which is a shame, would have been nice if they'd have perhaps given him, you know, slightly more of a dynamic pose, it would have been nice. Um, I also feel he's a little bit cartoony, or that might just be because of the way that they've painted him. Um, but yeah, so he's uh, Azrak the Annihilator, he's got a five inch move, uh, two plus weapon skill, two plus ballistic skill, uh, strength 4, toughness 4, 7 wounds, 5 attacks, leadership 9, and a 2 up save being a Terminator. Um, he's got a 24 inch uh, rapid fire 2. Um, I'm going to say that's a some Storm Bolter variation that he's carrying. And then he's obviously got that chain fist thing, um, which is melee, strength times 2. Minus four AP, D3 damage, and the shooting attacks. So it's rapid fire two, uh, strength four, zero AP, and one damage. So not overwhelming damage dealer. But there you go, let's have a look at the plastic. So you get your 40 mil base, because he's a Terminator. And okay, let's have a look. Term the, the shoulder pads look nice. I like the shoulder pads. 
Um, I will paint this guy up. I might see about maybe removing some of the iconography. Um, if I can, I mean, that may not be possible because of the way that that's, there's, that would be an awful lot of um, cutting away on the chess piece. Um, but yeah, so we've got our Storm Bolter variant here. A uh, pair of feet, obviously the main body, because they've obviously made him in such a static pose, they can, the, the main body is just almost one piece. And then you just put the front on, front of the legs and his feet, and that's him done more or less um but uh yeah i mean there's lots of detail on him i like i'm liking how much detail there is uh the chaos space marines that i have collected i've painted up in sort of like crimson slaughter colors um so i will chuck him in with my crimson slaughter i'll just put him as a chaos lord in terminator armor uh but it is a shame that he's such a static pose it's a very flat static pose. This is this is the sort of pose I would expect from, you know, fine cast. Which is which is disappointing. Um but he is a sculptor of 2022. And it looks like we've got what? Uh, 11 12 12 pieces. 13 pieces. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen. Let me know what you guys think. If anybody's bought one of these, let me know what you guys think of it and um, what your thoughts are on the pose and um how he looks i think he's like i say i think he's a little bit cartoony um but that may just be me but yeah let me know let me know what you think and um hopefully we'll uh we'll have a chat in the comments um but come back in a sec and we'll build him as well hey 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 okay let's build our terminator shall we um Right, let's get in there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, where's my glue brush gone? There it is. Right, so we're going to start off. We start off with our main body and the front of the torso. Uh, it's just going to go on like so. put shins on so one drop a little in there and then the second one which has some grenades attached to it what we've got so far um, then we're going with feet uh, now when you cut these out I do recommend that you make sure you store them the right or place them the right way round uh, when you do so that they obviously go on the right foot um, when you come to glue them on. So, there we go, right. And he stands. It's then saying that we need to glue our combi weapon together. Uh, 
Um, Ta da! Oh. Somebody's angry. And I'm not going to glue that on just yet because I want to um, drill out the middle bits. Right, his chain fist. So, chain fist. So let's pop his chain fist on, uh, and that goes on. The one thing I am, I am going to turn around and say that all these keying uh, points for attaching, they're really nice and like you definitely know that you're in the right position. Um, and that's been really one of the things about this kit that's been really nice. And then obviously the last thing we have to do is chuck the shoulder pads on and the shoulder pads again themselves are keyed so and it's a really nice firm keyed fit so it will go on and you know it's it's gone on it'll only go on one way um, so once it slots into place that's it you know it's there and that's that's really nice on this kit Now, his head gets glued in here, but I'm not going to glue it in because I'm going to drill it and stick it onto a paper clip for ease of painting and then glue it in later. But his head goes in there. And let's drill these out, shall we? Um, I'm going to start off drilling some pilot holes with a 0.7. So I'm just going to eyeball this. I think one about there. And then one about there. Oh, that slid, bugger. That's not good, right, let's try that again. That's better. Then I'm just gonna come straight in with a one mil bit. Because these, the muzzles on this, the barrels on this, are actually quite big. So I think that they'll be okay with a slightly bigger drilled hole. And there we go. So that's what I've done. And then, let's pop that away. Thank you. Bye bye. And then we're going to come in with our what's it? And I am going to drill his head so that I can mount it onto
just be careful you don't go too far because otherwise you'll end up coming out the top of his head. Right, so this is going to get super glued onto here. And then that will just make it easier for me to paint. So, heads super glued in position. And then we'll pop this guy onto the base. Now, I don't think he's been upscaled at all. We'll have a quick look and compare him to the Terminator Librarian, shall we? That came with Leviathan. And see, because I think he's still very much old scale. Um, yeah, maybe not. Mm. Yeah, potentially same sort of height. Uh, although the librarian is striding, but yeah, could be, could be better, better fit. Sort of like size-wise. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, standing pretty much the same height. Let's pop a. Cataphracti Terminator beside. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? And the Cataphracti. Yeah, there's there's a size difference in the Cataphracti. So I'd say he's maybe not 100% the new scale, but he's close to it. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, that's it. That is Azrak, the Annihilator, built Warhammer Plus Year 2 miniature uh, for 40k. There you go. Right. See you in the next video. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.